sorry guys this is a macbook pro touch bar has great speakers you know um and this is a, a three four three or four thousand four thousand rupee amazon echo dot speaker fourth generation i think i'm gonna just show you the difference between the two i always thought this will sound better but the results i can't believe it guys just wait First, we're gonna play this song on the MacBook. Okay, I'm gonna put this at 80% volume. In fact, let's go for full volume. While the song is playing, I just want to point out some things that I love the speakers on the MacBook. I think they are fantastic. Um, the audio is very good. And if you're listening to dialogues, it's, it's just fantastic. I can't complain. Okay, you get an idea. I don't want to bore you. Okay, now I'm just going to... I've connected with Bluetooth, okay? With the Echo Dot, okay? And I'm going to just play it the same thing at, let's say, uh, medium, medium volume. Okay. 80% volume. Hundred percent, one hundred percent volume. So guys, here's what I'm finding out, okay? Now, I, I don't think this is descriptive or a very good indicator of what is better. But for the past half an hour, I've been using this to play back music. And I don't know why, but it sounds better than the MacBook. The MacBook has amazing EQ presets. It has amazing treble controls. It has amazing bass. It has amazing clinch. Everything is perfect. But if I'm playing music somewhere, let's say, okay... Uh, I usually play music from Spotify. So let's say if I'm playing this song. Okay, that's the MacBook for you. If I play the same thing, you, you saw how it sounded. Let's play the same thing here. Okay, so here's what I'm noticing. I'm noticing that this sounds way more amazing, but somehow this is a bit louder, a bit cooler. And it's kind of a de decent, uh, how do I say, value addition. Like for just 4,000 bucks, why would anybody get any other speaker except this? I really don't know. I mean, I'm not going to be using it in my, this entire room. 
because I have other speakers, but for 4,000 bucks, this is a great deal. And guess what, guys? I have the third generation ones also, and this is a nice upgrade from the third generation. Of course, it's a thousand bucks more important, don't uh, like more dear, but uh, still, I think the good thing is that it now looks actually, I, I prefer how the older one looked. This looks a bit big now, but it looks kind of cool and funky. And I think after a few months, it'll look horrible. The light is on the base. You know, you press the whole thing. It's still voice activated. Alexa, what's the time? It's 5.23 p.m. Don't you love Hope me? Hope you had a good day. I right, cut it out now. Yeah, don't you love the Indian accent? So, um, yeah, man, I just want to show, I just wanted to show you a brief sound test between this and the MacBook. And I think it's a good addition of course, it can't completely replace the MacBook. I can't carry this around everywhere because it's a plugged-in speaker. But when I'm sitting in my house, in my room, and I just want to do some basic music listening, I think this is a pleasant change. Maybe because my MacBook is there and I'm sitting like here, you know, with my chair, and this is right next to me. So it's sounding good. But yeah, it's a good value addition for music. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. So some fun facts about uh, the Echo Dot. Um, you can just say something like Alexa pair. Alexa pair. Searching. And it goes. You're already connected. And it goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. So that's fantastic. I feel. Um, if you're gonna be getting the speaker, make sure you uh, place it very strategically. Searching. You're already connected to MacBook Pro two. To connect a different device. Go to the Alexa app. So I, I was saying, um, you can probably have one in your living room and have something like Alexa, play Bossa Nova. Here's a playlist you might like. Summer Samba on Amazon Music. You see Amazon that? Prime Music is streaming on another device. Would you like to stream from here instead? No, I don't want to do that. Anyways, my point is, you can have it in your living room or your, you have your dining table and you can have it play some good music while you're listening to some uh, eating food, you know. So I think that's an amazing addition. But really, I just wanted to show you music sound comparison. Again, I'm not saying it's better than the MacBook Pro, but I'm saying it's a welcome addition. So if I just get an, another one of these and I put it in my basement and I just keep it always plugged in, I don't think I will miss anything with this. Of course, it is not very room filling, like it won't fill up the entire room, but it's a very good personal speaker. Thank you for watching, guys.